drive to 100%, blower runs, and heat comes on to warm the space up. We select one sensor to reference the temperature, and that is our morning warm up set point. We just basically try to warm a specific sensor up to 71, 72, and then go back to normal VAV operations. guys so today we got a IntelliPak we got an old IntelliPak um, got it running right now I went in the morning warm up I had the, the whole building was cold um, I had a supply fan failure this thing's had a lot of work done uh, like a 98 so I was trying to I reset my supply fan failure and uh, got everything back up and running to get some heat in the building but uh, got our VFDs back here warning 12 current limit it's like right there in the middle when it comes up 41 amps is what it looks like I'm running So 41 amps, if I come check the data tag out, uh, let's see here, evaporator fan motor, 37.5 full load. So we're going to let it run right now, um, let the building get warm, then we're going to do some investigating on these blower motors, wonder if we don't have a bearing failing or something, those are 30 horsepower motors. so. That'll be fun. Um, so I thought the building warm up and see what we can get into. So while we're allowing the building to warm up a little bit, I'm just verifying my amp draws here. We are running about 41 amps. So it looks like only one of my fan motors is running. So this VFD has been replaced, obviously. The right fan doesn't seem to be running at all I've got a fault on this guy I might have to dig into that and see uh, how to reset that that's the older one and then this one's just warning me that my current's getting high so we verified our amp draw on that motor at least we're gonna have to do some more digging So this is my other fan motor. Man, she's dirty. Um, that side was running. That was my amp draw that was up a little bit. Uh, not much, it may have just been caused because this motor wasn't running and spinning backwards. So I'm gonna get this cover off and see if we can't find out what the hell's going on here. So here we are, we're just gonna Home our motor out to um, this um, issue. This VFD is an alarm and I can't get it to reset. It didn't go on a power reset and I don't see any manual reset. 2.3. So, motor seems to be okay, even though the bearings are a little noisy. <clears throat> um, you can kind of hear my bearings. But I don't see anything. It wasn't getting any power, so I don't see anything majorly wrong with the motor. And I don't feel anything in the bearings over there, so... Uh, belts look in okay condition, fairly new. Uh, so, not sure about this VFD, but this one's been replaced, and I'm assuming I've got a problem with this VFD not giving me any output. So, 
my next step only because I have it is this module here I have one right there so this is kind of a ghost town of parts in this unit but uh, so I'm gonna swap one of these modules out with that one and see if we can't get the alarm to go away and see if we can't get this motor to run so let's do that and see what happens and last thing just to verify we're gonna check the ground too and we're not reading anything to ground so that motor should at least try to run swap that board out so we replaced our VFD module just to be clear these don't work that should give me a readout of what my diagnostic actually is for this fault but uh, I think we're gonna need a new new drive I'm still showing fault I do have the three phase 480 going into it there's our old module it doesn't look awful maybe a few hot spots on there but that didn't work so it's probably something else in that module I was just kind of kind of hoping and praying at this point so I'm gonna let her start back up and see what happens and go from there see if we can't find us a VFD so last test here we're gonna put our unit back in auto um, I'm just verifying the uh, VFD issue but uh, I want to see my other motor run so swap my main power feed to the motor on the two VFDs so we're gonna see this motor run now I'm gonna give it a minute to kick out of standby and go back into normal operation we just kicked in you can see my other VFD is still in fault Side the belt squealing a little bit, but I got the panel off. The uh, that motor's running. And I'm running about 41 amps, which is about the same as the other one was. So uh, we verified that that drive is the issue. I checked all my inputs and outputs. Everything's doing what it's supposed to. It's just not outputting any voltage. So. Um, we're gonna cycle this guy off, put it back to normal on my motors, and hopefully we can get through the night with uh, just the one motor running for right now. Not a whole lot I can do without a drive. Um, this control VAV system controlled off static pressure, so I can't run my motor full speed. So we verified our drive is the problem. Um, we got the wires swapped back, so we're gonna run one motor for right now got a call in the train to see if I can get this drive if we do maybe we'll get some video on it uh, until then right now I'm gonna button everything back up get all my panels closed and secured and uh, we're gonna leave these guys with one motor and a little bit of heat hopefully through the night
our unit back in auto. Let's see if this works. Uh, pretty simple install. The VFD comes fully all together. You just basically plug and play at that point. And pretty easy. It's a little bit different than the other one. It's the same type as running our exhaust fan motor. So we're just gonna watch. We should uh, start ramping up here shortly and verify our rotation, verify our amp draws, and uh, make sure we cycle correctly with the same frequency on both. So we'll give her a minute and see what happens. So we got to reset. We are 59 hertz. 59 hertz. So we're ramped up to full speed. We reset it so it's going to go to a morning warm up first. Um, running 33 amps. So on that motor, so everything's looking good so far. All our run signals look good. Um, so we're just gonna watch it here for a little while. Um, let it go into morning warm up, come out of morning warm up, and make sure it goes to normal operation and we continue to modulate correctly on the two motors. You can see we're coming we're back into VV occupied starting to economize. The diagnostic is just the space temperature. It's reading from the BAS, so VFD should be starting to ramp down um, with both motors running. Um, I lost my uh, high frequency water, high amperage warning on the one VFD. We're still at 59.8. So, should start to see that ramping down. It's going to try to just maintain a static pressure at this point. We may have to let some of the VAVs close, but um, so there she goes. They look like they're working just like they should, so we're going to watch this for a little bit longer. We're going to go down, plug into the building automation just check on everything check temperatures and all that good stuff and we're just gonna watch it operate for a little while longer but I think it's gonna gonna finish this one up so all new VFD she should run for a few more years now maybe it's about 23 years old so let me know what y'all think leave me a comment uh, subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the next one